So my day typically starts at 4 a.m. and it starts with me going on my phone just to check my messages and to respond to any messages that came in overnight. Normally I'll do this for about 20 minutes and then I'll get on to the business of the day. I then head downstairs and make myself a cup of coffee because I really need to pick me up in the morning. I always try to get a good long study session in before I start work. If you've been watching me for a while now, you'll know that I'm a morning person and that's when I prefer to get most of my studying done. Right now I'm in full on revision mode, so I'll spend the first 50 minutes of my study session just going over chapter summaries and any practice questions that I've attempted in the past. That gives me time to get through my cup of coffee and just have my brain fully awake by the time I start answering questions. At about 5.30 I'll then get into about an hour and a half of just answering questions non-stop and going through the solutions to those questions. I try to end my study session at 7 or quarter past 7 the latest just so that I've got enough time to get through my morning routine and get ready for work. The first thing I'll do is to just make my bed and just straighten out my work area so that I am ready to kick off the work day. This morning I had a bit more tidying up and dusting to do because it was the Tuesday after a public holiday and a long weekend. Once I got that out of the way, I then changed into my workout clothes just so that I could move on to my workout of the day. Lately I've really been into dance workouts and... Can we just pretend for just a second that I'm actually killing this dance workout? Because in my mind, I had been training for this moment and I thought I was doing so great, but I just look like I'm being electrocuted. I'll then go for a walk around the complex just to get some fresh air in and to get my steps in for the day. After my workout, I'll have a quick bath and get changed into my work clothes. You know me, I'm all about that lockdown work from home life. So it's really business casual at the top and fun at the bottom. That's me in sweatpants. I'll then head downstairs and empty the dishwasher whilst I make my staple breakfast, which is just a bowl of muesli. I like to leave my muesli in the microwave to cool down a little bit before I eat it. So at around 8.30, I then go and log into my computer whilst I wait for that to happen. The first part of my day is normally spent just going through emails from my colleagues and from outside our company. I also use the time to be able to plan my day so that I know exactly what I need to get through on that particular day. I'll then grab my breakfast and a bottle of water that I'll drink slowly. At this point, I then start working on my first task of the day. I currently work in general insurance and the practice area that I'm in is reserving. So the work of an actuary in reserving is to help an insurance company to decide how much money to put aside today 
for them to be able to pay all the claims in the future that will come from the existing business. Since insurance is so sensitive, there's normally a supervisory institution that checks that what insurance companies are doing is correct and is in the best interest of all the people who've bought insurance policies. This body is known as the regulator and every year they require insurance companies to submit how they've estimated their reserves as well as many other aspects of their insurance business. On this day I was actually working on fiddling in that document which is actually called a return. At some point, the file that I was working with started giving me grief because I needed to get input from another file, but I was failing to locate it. So I then reached out to my boss so that he could help me to locate it, and I moved on to another task whilst I waited for him to respond. The weather ended up doing a complete 180 on me this morning, so I changed into a sweater. At around that time, I then got a call from my boss to assist me with the issue that I was having and to give me guidance on the other tasks that I was working on. After the call, I then booked my study half day and set my out of office automatic reply. I then continued working on the files that I had been struggling with since I now knew exactly where to get the files I needed. Around 12.30 I made myself a second cup of coffee to prepare for the second half of my day. So I still had one task that I needed to knock out on my list. As part of the reserving process, the calculated values need to be checked by auditors in a process that's called an actuarial audit. On this day, I had a few files that I was supposed to upload and then let the auditors know that I had uploaded those. And with that, I wrapped up the first half of my day. earlier on this day I had actually taken a half study day and these are normally given by most um, companies that employ actuaries so I was using this afternoon just to answer some practice questions and then mark myself just to see how I'm doing. now and I have come to the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and you found it useful. I'm actually going to stop here and start editing this video but on a normal day I would actually study beyond 5 p.m.
I would just keep going until um, dinner time. I would then have my dinner, then um, get back to it, maybe do one or two more questions and then um, just call it a day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.